Okay, so this is video number five uh, showing the paper ice uh, tool for creating stuff for board games. And we're going to look at have a look at something called magic properties. This will be the last video for this evening. Uh, please leave a comment or go into the Discord channel or something if you want me to make a video of something else concerning paper ice, because I like making videos of paper ice. There are a bunch of people doing great development work on this open source project and I want to help in some way that I can, which could be uh, creating documentation or uh, video guides for using paper ice. All right, that being said, let's go into uh, this template and look at uh, magic properties. So let's see here, let's have a look at the title layer. If we look at the uh, font, we have text size and we have text color. Okay, and now we can select another color here and say, let's have red, for example. Uh, maybe I should press enter, I don't know. And we get a red title, very nice. Perhaps not very nice, but it's there. Um, and this little symbol here tells us there's, uh, we could change this value dynamically, setting a value in the spreadsheet. And it says, if you use the property, if you have a column called title colon text color, uh, then you can set this value. So I'm gonna try this. Title colon text color. Let's see if I got all this right. Yep, capital C. Then I could use pink, I could use red, and I could use blue. So going back here, reloading. It should now pick up. Yep, it becomes green instead of gray. And this is, I guess, pink. I'm kind of colorblind, so I can't really tell this from red. This should be red on page two, and this should be blue. But it isn't. Why is this not blue? Let's close this again and have a look. Reload. The dagger, the short sword, and the broad sword. Okay, I'm going to try to change this to a hex value, uh, say uh, 00 ff 00 and reload again. I was under the impression you could use anything that CSS accepts. Okay, so I was wrong. You should use hex codes for colors, which means you could go out Google for color hex codes or something. Uh, oh, I value my privacy. Thank you very much. So pick a color, any color, and you will get the uh, hex code for that color, which you can then, I guess, copy. Enter here, like that. And then the first card should be this brown, should have this brownish color on the title. Okay, yeah, so that's the idea of using magic uh, properties. It might not be the best use case to change the color of the uh, title, but you could, for example, have a frame around the image that has different colors depending on what type of card it is. Uh, or you could have uh, something changed in the background, depending on uh, the color of background. You could also, as you can see here, uh, use alignment for images, say. Um, stretch or fit or scale. Is, uh, fit, fill or stretch. Um, using this property and change that setting for five of your 29 images, uh, which could be useful. Things like that. Uh, it's also worth noting that there's uh, a property called enabled, I think. If you go into the documentation, uh, which you can find from, from this, 
link here. Well, not right now because my VPN won't permit it. Um, if you go through that uh, documentation, you can find a list of the magic properties that you can use uh, and how to use them, which is kind of useful if you can't really make sense of them right away, like I did with the colors. I tried to do th something that didn't work and I should have then gone to the documentation and had a look at it. All right, and that's it for now. Uh, some ideas of how to use paper eyes uh, to get your stuff rolling and uh, creating components in a short amount of time. Let's just have a, well, I've been creating cards. Uh, you could add new components, have other, other types of cards. I haven't shown you how to change the size of the cards. That's something you do here. Uh, you can add new components, uh, another card. If I do that and create a component, I get here another card tab. If I, for some reason, want to change which uh, tab to use, I can do that here. Select the another card, change, and select simple card. And now I have two different renderings of the same data, for example. Um, and that's it. Um, have a good time. Uh, try things out, go into the Discord channel and ask if you have problems. See you there. Bye.